Well, I've only got another month until the big trip over to Europe, so I thought uh, we'd come here, take one last video, work the kinks out on the new equipment. Here we are in Perth City. I've got both of my sons with me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, and we're uh, doing a tour of the city on a Segway. Yeah. Oh, quite it. You've got to be better than that with the camera. I'm trying to. Come stand around here. I think we were all pretty nervous to start with about riding the Segways, but it turns out being pretty easy. Our tour guides spent a bit of time beforehand teaching us how to operate them and he wouldn't allow us to participate in the tour until he'd assessed that we really did know what we were doing. Just learning to ride the segways was a lot of fun. We had to navigate these little obstacle courses that they had set up around the centre. Top speed is around 10 kilometres an hour, which may not sound like much, but feels pretty damn fast when you're hooning down a footpath. People give you some pretty weird looks. I guess you don't see a lot of segways around, and they do draw a little attention. We all wore these little radio devices with headphones, which allowed our guide to talk to us throughout the tour. He was pretty knowledgeable and articulate, he did a really good job of narrating the tour, but in truth it was probably a little wasted on us. We were all too busy hooning around concentrating on driving the segways. I don't think any of us really paid that much attention. Segway Tours WA run three different circuits around Perth City daily. We took the Riverside Tour. At $89 per adult, it's not exactly the cheapest hour of entertainment you can find for the family, but they do offer special discounts during the school holidays, and it really was a heap of fun. For safety reasons, children under 12 are not permitted on the tours, nor are those weighing less than 45 kilos, so it's not really suitable for those with small children.